I'm so excited for Sex Talk season two. It's much more lighthearted and fun. This season, I have a co-star who will be asking questions that the audience wants to know. Well, in season one, I felt a little bit like I was lecturing, which I do in class all the time. But season two is more conversational, so it's just more lighthearted and fun and much more my style. Well, I came from a physiology background, not a psychology background, so I've actually spent a lot of time researching why people do what they do. Plus, I've been recognized out, which is always fun. Well, the feedback that I've gotten from friends and relatives has been very, very positive. Of course, everyone loves to throw in their little tips on how I could do things a little differently. Um, I really haven't heard much from students. They might be a little nervous to approach the topic. Well, my personal life has changed quite a bit. Um, in season one, I got engaged, and then during the filming season two, I was married. Um, I would say that I also learned a lot. So I came from a physiology background, not a psychology background. So I've spent a lot of time studying why people do what they do. Well, my optimal romantic date would actually be anything out of the country. I have a serious travel obsession. Like I just saw all seven wonders of the world, just saw my last one. Um, but on a more realistic scale, I love scenery. So anything involving the ocean, I absolutely love. Um, on our honeymoon, we rented a private villa with a private pool on a mountain overlooking the ocean. And like, I'd love to have that back again. You're asking me about sexy fails? Well, there's probably none that I could say on the Health Channel and none that my husband would want me to say.